Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Urban Universe for Mayu and Texas 3.0 with me, Alpha Bio Omega and the Osman with the Blatte. So I'll start this episode by saying the same thing that I said in Rule the Wave 3 episode that I published yesterday. I was really sick for the past 10 plus days, so I burned through all of my pre-recorded episodes, which are online now. And this is the first episode after, a f I don't know, 10, 10 plus, maybe 12 days worth of break when I was trying to fight my sickness. Um, and I'm back. Uh, however, I'll need to use this episode, at least this one, to get back into it. For God's sakes, I didn't even remember that we were at war with Iran, so that's how bad it is. Uh, either way, uh, we'll jump into it. I wanted to thank all of you, actually, for the support, the comments, and everything. I'll try to go through them today, tomorrow, in the next few days, answering them and explaining um, what uh, the strategy in my mind is. But it's kind of cool to see that you guys are up to speed again, because uh, I have really a lot of material pre-recorded because I had fun and it worked out well because uh, now that I can record again I actually uploaded the last episode that was pre-recorded today which is yesterday in your point of view anyway where are we uh, well so we're always at war with Iran uh, which is something that I forgot about and I forgot what the plan was and uh, the game does not save the peace treaty so I should have probably checked the last episode still I think I can Objectively, um, objectively remember what we wanted. Uh, definitely, it was one, you know, expanding into this territory. I think that our missions actually weren't completely. Yeah, we have Anatolian Highland. I'm just missing something. All provinces in Van. Okay, so that's the one that we're after. Where the hell is Van? Well, this is Van. Okay, so that uh, pertains to our other war with Sirvan then. Cool, cool, okay. And Iraq? Uh, all provinces in the Hakkari and the Lower Mesopotamia region. So Hakkari I've already seen here. I pretty much miss just... Just one province, really? Damn, okay, that is really small. And Lower Mesopotamia, where? No, wait, this is Hakkari as well. Ah, okay, so these three. Gotcha. And what Mesopotamia? It's probably going to be... Kurdistan? Uh, where the hell is Lobo Mesopotamia? Where can I see... Mm -mm -mm. Where can I see... Is the areas? Regions? No, areas. Kurdistan, Nivali, Akut, Maskari. Wow, where, where the hell is all Mesopotamia? Samoa. I would have expected it to be. Oh, it is here. Okay, so sorry, I'm, I'm looking at the wrong one. Region is this one. So we would need to get all of this, including the territory of um, Banu Khalid. Okay, so we'll get to that later on, but we can take this piece, I think. Baghdad is actually um, yield or hosting a capital rank 1, which we could expand upon if we wanted to and the autonomy here is lowering so I don't see a reason why not take this area eventually so wait what's the development like here if you look at the Baghdad okay so this one would be valuable and these ones is wow that's actually a pretty good deal so let me see if we wanted you guys and we wanted you something like this how would that affect people. Not by much. People actually agree with that. I don't like Diawa because of this, so I probably have to go with this. A bit more, a bit less of a border gore, a bit more infamy and overextension for us, but I feel like this might be a good a good one. And later on when we fight Servan, we would take this land to make it a little bit more 
precise. And this will eventually give us access to the Gulf of Basra, from where we could actually expand into India, or, you know, play with them if we want to. Yeah, I think that's, uh, that's a plan. I don't know what the original one was, but this, this one is mine now. And the rest is just gonna come to money. I know that we've been fighting Yemen, and we are... Uh, Sieging them. I mean, I know that now uh, that I remember. Yeah, actually, that was the main thing. We went and plundered the men, and I was actually trying to get them out of the war, wasn't I? Yeah, yeah, they wouldn't. <laughs> they wouldn't. So we'll need to pillage them and extort more money from them. How are you doing on? Okay, that's fine. How are you doing on money? That's fine. We actually pillaged all of this gold. Now I'm starting to remember. See, I'm starting to remember. Actually, before we jump on it, I will remember a request uh, for cultures. Uh, that was actually a request where you guys wanted to see, or one of you wanted to see cultures. So this is what it is right now. The blue ones is all Turkmen. Is it all ogres? Yeah, Turkmenor and Osmanlar. Wait, how does this work? Covers the provinces according to the various cultures and displays the names of these cultures. Okay, so this is the accepted culture and this is the cultures. Okay, so I gotcha. So this shows the actual culture groups, not really the actual cultures, but the culture groups. So uh, I'd say we are expanding our influence pretty dramatically. Turkmenlar and Osmanlar is. Yeah, the, the green one, or the bright green one, is on Smanlelar, while the dark green is Turkmenlar, uh, no, it's Ogus, Turkmenlar, and even some Seljuk, as I saw here somewhere. Come on. There was a Seljuk one here somewhere. Come on. Ogus, Ogus, Ogus. Roman, even. Okay. And I saw Seljuk here somewhere. The fact that I can find it now makes me extremely mad because it was here. Or was it an unaccepted one? And I'm done now. The Roman Pontagon was here. Oh. Either way, uh, these are the cultures. Oh, okay, so if I click on myself, I can actually see it this way. But yeah. This is what the Europe looks like. Magyar is actually losing ground. Uh, Bohemian, Polish, Slovak, which are the West Slavic, are expanding. We have the Low Germanics. I mean, most of Northern Germany is a little bit of the Low Countries. A lot of the areas of Prussia and the Baltic Germans. We have... What is this? Uh, Languedo, Languedocian, and the Burgu. Wow, I cannot even pronounce that. Burguignon, Burguignon, and the. Ah, that's weird. What, what kind of. Because this is a West Slavic group. This is Franke. Ah, okay, okay, so this is the Languedoc. Languedoc, okay. And the Iberian is okay. The Southern English, Scot Scottish are actually doing pretty good in the Irish. We have the Welsh, the Nordic or North German, um, Ruski, the Slavic, Nugorodski. Is this the Finnish? Yeah, Balto Finnic. On a decline. Siberware. Kazakh. Interesting. What about Africa? A lot of despairing cultures everywhere. Amanda, Kru, Walton. Let me see a little bit of here. A lot of various cultures here as well. <laughs> okay, well, I hope that answered your question. I know that I haven't shown that in a while, so hopefully that made you happy. Now we have a Damascene Separatist Uprising, a very dangerous one, 95%. How oh, did I miss that last time? Do we have an army nearby? We don't, so I'll have to handle them. 
67, that's actually really expensive. Well, we have to shut them down. So let's do that. It's gonna take them down to what, 60%? Uh, or lower. Wait, they disappeared completely to a scene. 70, okay, well, that's still good. So let's unpause and see what we'll see here. So we're sieging Fars, and I think we're sieging their capital, aren't we? Iran occupied Rudbar. Okay, that's fine. That's not really anything major. We can give them some breathing room while we deal with um, Yemen. I'd like to knock them out of the war first, and once we're done with that, we can partition Iran as much as we want. Yep, we're sieging the capital of Sana'a. Oh, that's gonna be a major boon to us. Uh, the sieged wing. I uh, still have a chance for a status quo, but yeah, we're. Hmm. Yeah, okay, so we just removed that option. Even though I've seen it fall of Shiraz. Uh, so that's the capital of Fars? Wait, where are you? Oh, here. Yeah. Okay, yeah. We'll loot them indiscriminately. Uh, where are we gonna move now? Definitely here. They are still determined to fight us, which is kind of interesting. I don't know. Yemen military strength ally in war. Yemen holds an Well, that's not gonna. <laughs> it's not gonna be true for a long while. What kind of an army do they have? A pretty decent one. No, I have absolutely no idea where it is. Okay, Hannah, that doesn't concern us. We've effectively blockaded them from moving to our territory, so... <laughs> wow, we're literally getting rich with this. Okay, none of these really seem all that good, except for you. But you have a fort, I'm not entirely sure I want to deal with that. So instead, let's move and take some of these smaller provinces, because I think that the real goal for us is going to be Sana'a. Then we can just clear off uh, this smaller army. And it's going to be that. I mean, there's a lot of potential gains to be taken here, but it's going to be really difficult. They have very interesting territory, and I think their fleet has to be really big to facilitate... Yeah, they got 81 ships. Which reminds me, we really need to build that red sea fleet. I might at this point just send my ships around Africa and hope that they will make it. I mean, the newer ones definitely should. I can send just one to see how it's gonna go. And then based on that, we can make further projections. There was a little bit of a discussion also in the comments why I took the naval ideas. Well, the reason why I took the naval ideas is that up until recently, um, we were, I mean, we had a huge fleet, but we can never rival France, Spain, or, you know, even, for example, some of the Indian nations, if we do not have heavy ships. And the naval ideas themselves, which is surprising to me, I did not expect that naval ideas would do that, but they gave us the ability to get heavy ships, and heavy ships is where it really is. Look at that. Our best light ship has 27 cannons and a hull size 25, while the two-decker has 60 cannons and 90 hull size. So potentially one two-decker can take down three brigantines. And, you know, we saw that Naples, for example, and um, Venice and Spain, they had a huge number of heavy ships we just couldn't face. So the moment we would, for example, want to take Crete, or we wanted to take Sicily or Malta, it's going to be impossible for us unless we get the naval ideas. Plus, it was always a possibility for them to pretty much blockade the Mediterranean for us and just siege and pillage our northern African positions unless we have them connected, you know. But even then, it would be impossible for us to react fast enough. And now, we can actually do it. No issue. 
Okay, can you explain to me why you're back to 35%? What the actual hell happened here? You were at 28. Is there like a negative effect or something that can happen? What the actual hell? Okay, now we breach the walls, but I'm not gonna storm them. That's stupid. But I think that unless we river take down Sana, they will never river yield. I really am not. I guess their army is stuck over here. Oh, there they are. Gotcha. I just saw you. I just saw you, bro. And I'm coming at you because taking you down is going to be one of the major things we will need to do here. Um, apart from taking Sana, but if we can take down their army just even a notch, it will be perfect for us. It's just gonna be a cat and mouse situation, won't it? I bet they have a. They're trying to get somewhere like Baghdad or something. Okay, 0% at Sanaa. Okay, you follow them indiscriminately. Okay, well, I'm gonna fight the Iranian forces here. And then we can actually go because they're attacking the... Uh, I think that's either Vojnovic or Serbia. Serbia, yeah. Okay, so hold on. Just take you guys out and then attack you here. And get rid of you. It's gonna be easier. Yeah, you're not gonna get away, guys. That might be even an elimination fight. We'll see. Okay, well, we started very well. Bureaucratic takeover. Because one of the main reasons why they don't want to negotiate with us is that they have such a big army. Yeah, that's definitely going to be an elimination. Nice. So now let's hand down the other army. Yeah, okay, now they're mid to medium, so they would definitely sue. Yep. And we might even ask them for something. So after we finish sieging Sana, I think we're going to continue with some of these bigger cities, and then we're going to force them to peace. Because they're gonna pay us a huge amount of money, and that is what we are always in favor of. Where the hell are you going to? Yazd. Is there a connection here? Might not be. Okay, let's get oh yeah, they're they're smart. They know what they're doing. Okay, 21%. Oh, speed it up. I don't know I needed that. I have a feeling they're taking heavy attrition here. Because they're not. Or are they replacing their units? So let's get it back. 42%. Come on. Take Sana. That's gonna be a major boon to us. We need it. Okay, I'm not gonna kill them here. Three more thousand. They're retreating south, which is fine for me. Okay, so Sana gave us nearly 400 gold. Which, if you ask me, is amazing. So, the more. Yeah, and here, then. Uh, we're being blocked by... Nope, we have to take this fort first. Ah, that sucks. Our choice with Varamia has ended. And other places too. Okay. Okay, I'll try to take you guys down a notch. I mean, I'm not particularly interested in fighting you. I just really like it if you paid me enough 
600 gold is actually pretty decent, so let's make it 600 gold and more reparations. And we'll call it the day. You can keep the rest of your provinces. So wait, how are we doing with Yeah, we have a lot of those. We'll need to get out of this war soon. Despite having positive stability, I think it's the war exhaustion that is really screwing us over. We have bigger fish to fry. Okay, this is just a level 2 for it, but we're not really doing great now. Tyrannical nobles. Ah, they would um, lower. And yeah, that would make them mad. What kind of a ruler do we have? Skeptical. Car he's careful. Yeah, I think we'll have to. Uh, I'll have to turn out a blind eye for this one. Because while we. Definitely do want to cut down the noble. I don't think during a war, when we are looking at a possible uprising, we can actually anger the nobility. Not to mention, I want to really cut them down very soon. So having a really good relations with them right now would be pretty good. Hmm. Yeah, let's turn a blind eye. We don't have much of a choice here. I wish we did, but we don't. Status quo. Really? Really? Damn, our war exhaustion is zero. Why the hell are we getting so many uprisings? Is it just... I think it's just the rapid expansion that's screwing us over, because we have the Mamluks. Damascenes and others. So well, let's just not play this game for much longer and take what we can and be gone. Figuratively and realistically. Now we've stopped them from sieging anything. Nah. This is really aren't as valuable as we might have thought. Yeah, they're moving to Yazdvold. Do we want to follow them or do we want to kill their provinces? Because I feel fighting their army gives us a better long term gain. But I don't think we're in for a long game. We really don't have much of a time anyway. Yeah, the Damascenes are just gonna rise soon. So, would you 27? They're getting very close to this. Hagenbert, Bastiak. That is a really high. I have a feeling we might be able to intercept them though. And are they gonna be a 17th of February? Yeah, we're not gonna be able to. Okay, you know what? We can just siege some provinces from Iran. Okay, let's see how it's gonna go. They're moving to Ardestan, which is very close. So we're gonna be basically right behind them, chasing them. And if we can force them into a province from which they can't get. Yeah, they might be after the Serbians again, who are actually doing an amazing job here. Really good one, guys. Yeah, and I can, I cannot catch them in time. God damn it!
No, I have to stay here. Well, I'm gonna at least deny them this kind of access in the future because right now we can take this fort, and if that happens, I can take down the army while they return. I'm really mostly worried about the rebels. What the hell are you guys doing there? That's absolutely ridiculous. Forty-two percent. Do we have a ticking war score with them, or we don't? No, but we have a ticking war exhaustion. In, um, sixty-four. Yeah, they're gonna try to get back, moving southwards, which is our cue. One day. Uh, no. Oh yeah, they are. They're moving over here. So I could probably intercept them over here. Still sort of okay. Not interested. 28, well... Might have to go with something... Yeah, there. No, no. Okay, you know what, let's not... Let's not overcomplicate this. Uh, we won't be able to do that, but... With what? I can get war reparations... And 34 gold. Okay, I think we can still take it. That's actually a pretty good deal to me. Do not have any claims? Okay, that's still fine. I think they will pay us a pretty decent amount. Uh, war operations. Five gold per month for ten years. So that's twelve times five. Sixty six hundred gold. Okay, well, that's pretty much what we could have asked for up front. And now you, Iran. Now you. So you can give us all of this territory that we wanted. And I want all of your gold, and that's still not enough. So let's ask for more patience as well. So you will pay us 725 gold, give us all of this territory, and pay us money. I'll take it. So, believe it or not, this was another successful war. And I'm gonna go ahead and start dealing with these revolts. So wait, we have Damascene Separatists over here. Uh, yep. So I think it's actually smart to keep these forts up and raised. Oh, we have only five activated, so these are pretty much you can take down back down and that's it. So that's fine. Then we had what Mamlukian separatists. Mamluk separatists 85%. Mamluks, 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 okay. That's gonna be over here and over here. Okay, that's not great. This is gonna be super harsh hard to Get rid of Iraqi separatists, though. Okay, so change of plan. You guys go here, yes. And you guys go deal with the Iraqi, Iraqi separatists. And let's core all of our new territory. Which is not a little. It is actually quite a lot. We have gained cleansing of heresy against Corset. Oh. Do we even have enough? I don't think we even have enough <laughs> administrative power for this. Uh, okay, overextension, who gives most? 
you, you, let's take it from the top, and we're done. So we're missing still quite a significant chunk. I'm gonna give us a new ship. Okay, one thing that I actually wanted to look into, uh, we are getting quite a lot of money. We will need to build more ships. I want to have a Red Sea fleet here. And we do have enough for that. So I'm gonna start building a bunch of ships. I don't think I can build them here, but we definitely wanted to build a port here somewhere. So let's do that as the last part of this episode. And then in the next one, we're gonna build a Red Sea fleet and send it here. So we have to make a choice. You are a bad province for a port. You could be va valuable in that regard. You are also a possibility. Yanbu is also a possibility. And I think Yanbu would be the best one because it has the biggest urban and rural development. It already has an amenities and fishing harbor. So let's just do Yanbu here. Oh, we have a plague. 200,000 people. Well, it's nothing really. <laughs> nothing really bad. Garrison. Let's improve. Harbridge by rank 2. 700 gold. Okay, let's not go overboard here. We're gonna build level 1. 259. And because it's gonna be our port, I really believe that you guys ought to also have a fort. So let's build a level 3 fort over here. And... And, and, and... And I'm thinking we're gonna invest in Baghdad and make it a capital rank 2. So let's see if that is an option. How would that be? Exp how expensive would that be? I'm expecting a couple thousand. 393, that's actually super cheap. Okay, so I'm gonna invest in rank level two. They probably already have works going on that. We have a capital rank three and we lost the harbridge again. Okay, let me see if I can upgrade the harbridge in our capital. I can. And let's look at our eastern capital, which is right over here. No, it's not. They lost it. Okay, but it's not going to be that expensive to rebuild it. Yeah, 132. And if we wanted to build a level 2... 664. No, let's just go with level 1 for now. They can't even support that, so let's do that. Okay, and we have 843 gold left, so we'll keep that in mind for future reference. You guys are completely out of touch with us, but that's fine. We need to build some roads here, especially from Yanbu, but it's... Yeah, it's gonna go Yan... Yanbu... Tabuk... From here, here to... Okay, Sina doesn't have any port, which in itself is a problem. So we would prom Oh wow, Alkuts doesn't have any... Any route. Well, it has level 1 roads. And we've upgraded it to level 2 monument. Okay, well, either way. Enough talking. We've done what we wanted to. And in the next one, I feel like we might want to... No, we still have a truce with them. So we have to wait for that one to tick out. Anyway, thank you very much. See you in the next one.